Hello, and happy Labor Day to all my friends here in the United States. Um, hope you're having a fun, safe holiday weekend. Um, my holiday weekend has been full, <laughs> um, and I'm kind of running on fumes right now, but I thought I would get on here and talk a little bit about my weekend because uh, there's a lot of music-related stuff in my weekend. And, um, yeah, so I'll get started with showing you a CD I picked up over the weekend. Um, and I thought this was coming out later this month, but I saw a video of Bev's, her last update, and showed that this is indeed out. So I'm like, oh, I gotta go find the album. And I found Megadeth's latest album, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. Uh, this is my first chance getting a ch uh, looking at this. I haven't been able to listen to it since, again, I've been so busy. Looks like lyrics and credits. You know, nothing... Nothing special to look at in the booklet. This cover art's pretty interesting. I would like to see it on a I'd like to see it on a vinyl to really get the full appreciation of the cover art. So there's my CD pickup. Uh, my weekend started Thursday. Thursday, and this is the first time I think I'm being talking about a concert by my favorite band since I started this channel. Because I don't think I've been to one until last Thursday, since I've had a YouTube channel. But I went and saw Scorpions they're on their Rock Believer world tour, of course, now. And they had a show at the Allstate Arena in Rosemont, Illinois, which is in the Chicago area. Uh, 20, 25 minutes away from the city of Chicago itself, but you know, they played there a lot, and I've seen them there a lot. Um, I think part of the Worldwide Live album was, reco was recorded at this arena, which was called the Rosemont Horizon at the time. I know in the um, Worldwide Live documentary that they had a VHS of that I had back in the day called the World, it was of the Worldwide Live Tour, uh, the marquee for the Rosemont Horizon slash Allstate Arena shows up on that documentary. But they were get there again this past Saturday night, and I, of course, went. Um, took me a while to decide to actually do it, but I'm like, I don't want to take it for granted that I'll get a, another chance to see this band. Um, so I thought I need to go. And the show was... The show was pretty good. Um, not my favorite show by them, but still a fun time. Still a fun time. Um, it's it's not easy. I'll, I'll put it that way. It's not easy to see. Well, I'm not going to call them idols because they're not idols, but musicians that I read admire getting older and not being able to put forth the energy they once did. Um, but still for their age, still for their age, they're, they're excellent showmen. Uh, they, uh, even though Klaus wasn't running around jumping off speakers and everything like he did back in the day, uh, his voice still sounded great, um, showing its age, but still sounding great. Uh, and he was, he pretty much stood close to his uh, mic stand and uh, didn't run around a lot playing the tambourine like he usually does during like guitar solos and everything, although he did some of that. And he saved his voice for singing and he didn't do a lot of um, 
the urging on of the crowd that he would do in the past either. Uh, Make some noise for me, Chicago! You know, when he would yell that type of thing out. But it was still a pretty good show. Um, another thing to give Klaus's voice a rest, uh, they played three instrumental numbers besides Coast to Coast, which they usually play off of the Love Drive album. They played a an instrumental piece called uh, Decadent Dance, which I've heard them play last couple times I've seen them. And then they had bass and drum solo. So Klaus's voice got a chance to rest those parts of the show. As for the songs itself, they actually played three songs off of, four songs off of their latest release, Rock Believer. They started the show with the first track on the album, Gas in the Tank, and they played the title track, Rock Believer, of course. They also played Seventh Son and Peacemaker. Uh, the song Rock Believer, um, which is growing on me, uh, but uh, I wasn't impressed with it at all when I first heard it, but the song's growing on me, but it's still nowhere near the list of their best songs, in my opinion, is the song that was the least well-received out of the new songs, um, but in the by the crowd, in my opinion. But um, the other one, the other three, Gas in the Tank, was a great show starter. And I have very little Gas in the Tank myself right now, so forgive me. Um, that was well-received. Uh, I think out of the other three, um, Seventh Son was the best received. And that's that's one of the best songs on here. So, And then, of course, the rest of the show was filled with hits from Love It First Sting they did, uh, Bad, Boys Running Wild, Bad Boys Running Wild, which they have not played the last three or four times I've seen them, and, of course, Rocky Like a Hurricane, Big City Nights. And another big surprise is there was no Still Loving You. From Blackout, they played the title track, of course, and No One Like You. Love Drive, they just did um, Coast to Coast, the instrumental. From Animal Magnetism, they played Make It Real in the Zoo. Crazy World, they played Tease Me, Please Me, which is another one they haven't done in a while. And they also played When to Change. Now, the thing with When to Change is because of the whole Russia-Ukraine thing, they changed some of the lyrics around to fit the Russia-Ukraine thing. And they did it to uh, as a dedication to the people of the Ukraine. I like the thought behind it, but to my mind, if... You got to change if you don't feel comfortable doing the song as singing the lyrics as it was composed. You shouldn't, I wouldn't have done the song personally. Um, but that's just me. So that was probably my least, you know, even though it, there was a nice heart behind it, and I'm with the people in the Ukraine in my thoughts and my prayers, I just would have left the song alone. But of course, you know, uh, the, I think the highlight song for me was probably No One Like You. That's my one of my favorite songs. First song on the encore, then they ended with Rock You Like a Hurricane. Um, another thing, I, I wish they would change some of the ordering of the songs up because you know, at least, you know, like, you know if you've gone to shows like I have, over the past few years, you know, when they play Blackout, they're going to play Big City Nights next. And then the encore is going to include No One Like You and Rocky Like a Hurricane as the finisher. And up until this tour, Still Loving You was part of the encore too. And I think they're they're switching out. They're alternating between Still Loving You and No One Like You at the shows. But... Um, yeah, they they 
chose no no one like you for Chicago, and I'm glad they did because still loving you is one of those songs you know, it's overplayed. Not that uh, no one like you hasn't been played to death, but I'd rather hear that one. And I was at, one of the souvenirs I was able to pick up is this poster. I don't know how good it's going to show. I got to hold it right side up to begin with. There's the band and the tour dates there on the bottom of it. And this is exactly like the front and the back of my t-shirt that I picked up that's in the wash right now. But, um, yeah, that's one of the souvenirs I picked up from the show. The other thing I like to talk about is Friday... After coming home late from Chicago the night before Friday, went to Madison, Wisconsin, which is about an hour and a half from here, and helped my sister dog sit a little bit. Then Saturday, a friend of mine and myself went to an event they have on Labor Day weekend called The Taste of Madison, where you can sample all foods from all over the Madison area. And they have stages with bands playing. And the band Nonpoint played. And I got to see Nonpoint again for my only my second time. That was a good show too. Um, got to hear a lot of songs from their first album. Which, which, I enjoy, which I enjoyed. And except for maybe four songs that they generally always play. The rest of their set was totally different songs from when I saw them last a few years ago and I like when bands do that I really do and the shirt I'm wearing and my hat here are my pickups from that show so as tired as I am I thought I'd get on here and uh, give a little synopsis of my Labor Day weekend I hope everybody in the States, you're having an enjoyable, safe weekend, as I said. And until I talk to you again, enjoy the music.